On a wet, cold February afternoon, a group of runners pound the pavement, making their way through downtown Victoria to the Songhees. These runners and walkers are trying to get healthy, finding an outlet while being part of a special group. Every step counts is for anyone who self-identifies with any challenges with mental health, addiction, so social isolation, poverty or any other barriers, which is a pretty wide catch-all. And this year it's celebrating its third anniversary. Started back in February 2009, the program has grown from a handful of runners to over 300 participants. It all started with an idea from the Victoria Foundation. We wanted to do something to support uh, those in the community who needed a sense of community around them. It's based on a similar program from the United States. Today, organizations from across Canada and the world are looking to start their own similar groups based on Every Step Counts. Fifty-year-old Lorraine Walton has been with the program since the beginning. Although she doesn't talk about her issues, she says she's in a better place now. I would just say life, life circumstances um, that weren't properly dealt with at the time, that accumulated and made bad choices throughout my life. And the program has been a great learning experience for her where she can socialize, meet new people and hang out with friends. The thing I like about the group is that you, you come in, you leave whatever issues you're dealing with outside the door. One rule in the program is that this isn't a therapy session. You don't talk about your troubles. It's a positive place to get out and get healthy. Some people say, for instance, uh, if you've got some mental health medication, uh, might do wonders for your mental health, but you'll pack on 75 pounds in the next two months. And so this is also a place where people can come, get some exercise, and kind of contend with that. The runners are given gently used shoes and gear that has been donated by the community. Front runners Rob Reed has been with them since the beginning, training, providing support, and says he's also seen a difference. A lot have gone on to school, different jobs, and uh, you know, just getting in and out of recovery and being able to put one foot in front of the other uh, and really make a difference for themselves. Many of these runners will be participating in the TC10K. There are 45 people already signed up, but they're hoping to get more. The next step for Every Step Counts is to continue with the help and support of the community so people like Lorraine have an outlet to turn to. Most of the time it's been my way of letting off extra energy that I have um, in a positive way. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh for The Daily.